Thank you, and thanks to uh, um, 121 for the opportunity to speak here today. Sanadu, we're a copper and gold exploration company focused purely on the South Gobi region of Mongolia. Um, we uh, had a, quite a good discovery that's really starting to grow some legs over the last two months, uh, particularly with a new resource. Um, excited, we've hit that magical, you know, over 1 million tonnes of contained copper, 4 million ounces of gold. And this is all just within an open cut pit, so we control a district. Um, it's, we believe, going to be a globally significant discovery here. There's clear development pathways. We're only one hour's drive from the, the large AU Torgoy deposit. We also, in the background, have an established portfolio of projects across the country. Good team, um, and our exploration continues to be credited. Numerous discoveries this year, but more importantly, we're seeing it um, with these discoveries being recognised in the market. Um, so, as a strategy, as I said, we're an exploration company. We're looking for big projects, um, you know, and that's really where we're succeeding. We've put together a major resource. It's an open pitable resource. Um, we're rapidly moving that into a delineation phase, but that resource is from surface. As I said, close to 2 million tonnes of copper, 4 million ounces of gold. We have an accelerated exploration program in the background. There's a several discoveries, porphyry centres here that aren't included in that resource that we've had in the past 12 months. And the idea is to quickly drill those, bring them into resources. And with a systematic approach, we control the districts when you look for exploration. Um, you know, when you, when you find something, if you can control the district, you continue to have discoveries. Wherever you're looking at porphyries, wherever you're looking at um, said host of copper, um, these copper projects often occur as clusters. Um, and that's a key thing, because when you control that district, you will continue to have further discoveries. Um, as I said, um, one of Asia's largest undeveloped copper projects at the moment. Um, it's been an increase the last three years of drilling. We've been able to put together a substantial resource close to 600 million tonnes. As I said, contains 4 million ounces of gold um, and nearly 2 million tonnes of copper. And when you look at this resource, what really is a key takeaway, we have a high grade core that's exposed at surface. This is a low strip ratio resource, but focus on that high grade core. Um, and that's what separates this project. And you look, a lot of these copper projects are quite homogeneous in grade, but this is distinguishes this project with some very high grade parts. That means a starter project, you can get in there and you have uh, production early um, of reasonable grades. Um, copper porphyries, um, when you find the gold rich members of this, this group, they're quite significant. At Hamugtai, you can see we have over 4 million ounces in resource. If you look at gold equivalent, it's close to a 16 million ounce gold discovery. Um, so these are significant gold deposits in themselves, um, and that's what makes these interesting for whether you're a larger gold company or a copper company. Having a byproduct of gold and that sort of tenure is um, quite significant for the value. Um, Company, we've got a $2 million market cap at the moment. Um, a lot of cash on hand. We, um, we're about to get back into some exploration. We have some really compelling targets, and we have a strong foundation, a very strong institutional shareholder, AXX listed, now TXX listed. Um, the board, um, we have a good team here, very in country management. A lot of our geology team were involved with discovery of OU Torgoy in the early days, 15 years ago. Been able to put that team back together. Um, and we're continuing to have good success on the ground. And we also got a board that's experienced on the financial side, the exploration, and also in the development. So we believe we're well-rounded. Um, what's the problem at the moment? We're not having discoveries. The shelf's dry. Um, when you go through a large downturn, a lot of the exploration globally is cut off. Everyone's looking for new deposits and where they are. We're seeing a lot more money pumped into the ground, but we're seeing less and less discoveries. And where we look at the moment, we're looking at globally discovery costs are costing over seven cents per pound in the ground. Um, with our new resource, our discovery rate is around about half a cent. So we're very competitive compared to putting these pounds together um, and money well spent. <clears throat> and what's the real problem is we see that, you know, copper demand is there. Um, there's very little discoveries. Um, when I look around at the moment, um, there's very little exploration going into the sector, but we know with the EV, um, electric vehicles and a lot of the demand for copper is growing and growing, but we're not supplying those. And there's a real lack of new copper discoveries out there. And we see quite a significant shortfalls coming here in the, in the medium term. Um, where we are, um, as I said, you've seen the, the red dots there, that's Xanadu. Um, we're sitting there, you know, average global open cut pits at the moment are about 0.5 copper, um, 0.4. Um, you know, when you think about that in terms of, you know, you look at a copper project, there's probably four to five years of development. Um, where you are today, what you haven't got built, those grades are going to continue to drop. And what's rare and what distinguishes Xanadu at the moment is we have an open pitable resource. 
Um, and that's and that's you know distinguishes us. We don't, we've got drill holes down to 1,200 metres that continue to be mineralised. Um, but this resource we've put out is really focused um, on what's in the upper 300 metres because when you have that, that gives you the licence to grow do it but deeper. And having those open pit resources, they're the ones that get developed quickly. You look at all in sustaining cost for open cut pit compared to deep underground block caves, it's quite a difference. So, you know, for us, defining that open pit resource has been an important step and allows us to continue on and chase the higher grades at depth. Um, one belt, one road. Um, this is an incredible infrastructure build out. We're seeing Mongolia sitting in the middle of this. Um, these are projects that 15 years ago didn't have power, um, didn't have roads, now they have that. We have a fully permitted mining licence. We've got power within seven kilometres grid power. Um, we have infrastructure, it's coming rapidly, and it's all part of this one belt, one road. And if you look at that, you know, this is the real driver. China's consuming 70% of the global copper. Um, we're having discoveries on the doorstep less than 200 kilometres from the, the border. And if you look at this region, there's over seven smelters within 300 kilometres of the border. Um, and this is why our in you know, the last 10 years has been built so rapidly, because that is the market. And if you can find your projects on the doorstep of it, that's an important thing. Not only that, for engineering, you know, a lot of the workshops in Baotau, in Mongolia, um, that gives you access to these that can help construction, got paved roads coming in, multiple railways under development, close proximity to major mining operations within 100 kilometres of us. We have major coal mines. We also have OU Torgoy being constructed by Rio Tinto at the moment. So, um, you know, a lot of that pathway for infrastructure has been pushed in front of us. Um, the ingredients, a large resource growing, shallow open pitable mineralisation. Um, that resource base continues to grow with exploration. We have established infrastructure um, and close to other projects. So it's been quite rapid, the rise. Um, uh, this project was first explored by Ivanhoe Mines at the same time, AU Torgoy from 2001 to 14. Um, we have acquired the project in 15, um, had multiple discoveries, 600 metres of 1% copper was one of our first drill holes. Um, we've also discovered our fourth centre um, this year. Um, main sort of resource for us is you know, getting close to you know, a, a reasonable level for open pit and we're starting that process now, moving it through and showing that the value is there while also keeping the exploration going in the background. Um, we're very, very focused on that exploration and you'll see here we have multiple targets. Those resources at Stockwork Hill, White Hill, Copper Hill, that's where the main resources are. Zara, we've got five drill holes into it now with intervals over 900 metres of continuous copper. Um, we have another nine targets that remained undrilled. And you look at those green stars, um, they're targets that we're going to drill in the near meantime. You can see that they've got the right indications of mineralisation. We believe this will all link up um, and it'll be part of a series of porphyry deposits. And you can see that. So the mining licence, fully granted mining licence, covers about 40 square kilometres. Um, only a small part of it, 10%, has been drilled. Um, and only a small part in the upper part has been drilled. So the system remains open from surface down to about a kilometre. And those resources, you can see they're constrained by open cut pits. Um, what we're assessing at the moment, as you said, you've got those high grades. Porphyries occur as a series of fingers. Um, the focus on is then extending those to depth. We're trying to understand what's the right grade outside the open pit depths. We see intervals there of 200 metres of one gram gold, half a percent copper. Um, they, they offer compelling targets below and outside the pit and we'll continue to focus and drill on those. Clean concentrate, um, it's a very, very important thing at the moment. Um, arsenic has stopped being a penalty. Um, the smelters just aren't taking it. So if you can offer a clean con, it's a high demand for it in global smelters. And we have that good, good recoveries, no arsenic, um, no deuterious elements, excellent deportment, gold reports as native grains, metallurgical test work now is gonna be a comprehensive survey across the whole project. Um, and as I said, had a, holding a significant brownfield discovery, we've been, our strike rate of target through discovery is quite remarkable. Um, after establishing those resources, the first drill hole was in Dazara, Golden Eagle, there are other centres and we have another nine more remaining to drill that sit under about 20 metres of sand, so we're continuing to tick those off as we go along. Um, you can see here the copper, it's extensive mineralisation, about 30 square kilometres, it sits under about 20 metres of sand. All it is is about piecing it together, getting drill holes into with those. And with the discoverer Zara, we believe we've cracked that geological code for additional success. Um, and Hamagtai, you know, will continue to grow um, as we move into the future. Um, if you look at where, as I said, open cut pits, AU Torgoy is 800 million tonnes at 0.4. We've put together a very similar resource. What we're doing now is trying to look for our Hugo Dummett, trying to find that, you know, 1% ore body 
um, the exploration of the district. We know the system's going to host it. Um, now we're about exploring and Zara looks like it's the tip of an iceberg of that. Um, and I think if you look at our deposits um, you know, around the world at the moment, Goldbridge Porphyries, we're lucky that not only we have it from surface, we've got multiple discoveries now and the system is growing. And two key comparisons there, you know, obviously Wafi, great Castabell discovery in Ecuador. Um, and you know, if you look at our Stockwork Hill deposit, we're just seeing the ballnite come in, the grades come in. And as I said, those grades are increasing. So we're only drilling the edges of the system today. Um, most of our drillings in the upper 300 metres, we have drill holes down to 1200, showing it exists, it's about piecing it together and growing that. And um, pretty exciting over the next, uh, the next six months as we continue to look at that. We have the resource upgrade, accelerated drilling on multiple targets. We're looking at understanding the economics of the project. Um, and in terms of our peers, very attractively priced at the moment. So thank you very much.